Hey everyone, Jessica Cabasi here. In this tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to get a sort of vintage hazy film effect, I guess. It's, it got, it could be like 20 different things, right? This is uh, really nice for the fall, I think. It gives like a brownish tint. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing that we are going to do is go to curves. So go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. And we're just going to like add everything in. We're going to kind of give the photo some dimension right here. And if you watch my other tutorials, you know I'm obsessed with curves. So I think anyone who knows me saw this coming. They're like, Jessica's going to go to curves. So I'm just getting rid of like the whites. I'm not making the whites so white. I'm going to go ahead and lower them just a little bit so that some more gray shows. And as you can see, I got rid of the black, so I just hired up this. And if you want it to be more vintage, just bring up this bottom little dot right here. I don't even know the technical term. Yeah, I'm not a really technical person. I realized that today. <laughs> um, now we're going to go from RGB, and we're going to go from RGB to red. And then we are going to make a little dot right here. I don't know. This is probably not called dot. It probably has like a really technical term. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> I don't know what. We're going to bring up this little red dot over here. I'm going to try to get some more red in here, actually. I'll probably fix that later. But that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to go from red to green. I'm going to hit up all the colors today. And then we're just going to add a little bit of green. We're not going to go crazy. good and then last one is blue which is my favorite although I tend to mess it up a lot though. I don't know it's just hard like after you do this for so long you're like oh I want to try something new but then you keep doing the same stuff you're like damn it why do I do that okay there we go. now it's starting to look normal okay might have I think this is pretty it's pretty good Yep, I mean, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is actually add that brown color. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to layer, new fill layer, and then solid color. You can also go down here and do that. But I'm just going to go um, on the little menu bar so you guys know where to find it. So now I'm going to choose a, like a brownie orange, which reminds me of, a brownie which I would love right now by the way some ice cream <laughs> so okay let's see I guess it could be like that kind of color you can always change this I think like this is pretty good actually that's like the car the caramel color that you would put on the brownie <laughs> you can tell that I'm, I'm hungry right now now we're gonna go from normal to color and obviously, you don't want to keep it like this. This is what they did like in the 80s, I think. I'm just joking. I'm going to get I'm gonna get hate comments for that. Okay, so we're going to lower this to about... You can do like 20%. We're going to do 20%. So you're all, you can already see it's giving like that brown, brownie tint. Which, again, everyone loves because it's brown. It reminds me of brownies. So then you're going to want to go to layer, new fill layer, and then we're going to go to solid color one more time. And now we're going to do like a light yellow-ish color. And I swear, it's just I haven't been sleeping that well, so don't mind my little rant right here on brownies. Um, we're going to go from, we're going to actually keep it to normal. We're just going to literally just lower the opacity. And I'm just doing this just like, can you tell that it's bringing out those details? So if you pay attention to her hair even, if it's at zero, it's not... This is kind of dark, so depending on how much you want, you can higher the opacity. I'm gonna, not going to do it that much. I'm going to do it around like 3%, I think. And then I'm going to go from to layer, new adjustment layer, and then uh, vibrance. I'm just going to get rid of a little bit of that color. 
from the saturation and we're going to add in some vibrance. You can always change up everything. Okay, and then we're going to go to Selective Color. Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then Selective Color. And I'm going to go to Yellows. And again, this is going to depend on the colors in your picture. If you have a lot of greenery, which I would recommend with this, then you can toggle with the yellows. So I'm going to bring these up. I'm going to bring the yellow... One and the, let me see, let me zoom out and see. Just make it a little bit darker, that's it. You see the reds, let me just bring out a tiny bit of red. There we go. You don't have to use selective color. You can really just keep it like that. Um, but I, I personally love selective color. You can also add, you can hire your color layer if you want it to be more brown. And then you can hire your normal, your um, light yellow layer if you want it to be more hazy, I suppose, or film-like. And I, this is, this is it for the tutorial. I'm just going to go ahead and tweak a couple of things. And really, I have to like sit and toggle back with every everything. Yep, I think that's this is pretty good. If you want, you can throw a gradient on there, a gradient on there. But I think this is pretty good the way it is, and I'll show you guys a before and after. So that's before, and that's after. It's really soft. Something that's really nice for fall, especially fall colors. And it's not that hard. It's only like maybe one, two, three, four, five five layers. You don't even have to add selective color if you don't want to. So in five easy layers you can have a really nice effect. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and it's pretty late here so that's why I'm making all these random comments. I'm not weird or anything. Actually I am weird. I don't even care. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope you guys learned some new techniques. If you guys have any questions or comments please leave them below. Um, see you guys later.